Your companion rests blissfully, without a fear in the world. As your hand approaches her body, it wavers. It longs to close around her throat. What the... Hells, don't wake me like that! I was almost reaching for a weapon. Hold on, you look like you've had a shock. Something the matter? As you tell your story, fatigue fills your body. Your head swims with the worst headache you've known. How long has this been going on? Do I even want to know the answer to that? I'd rather you trusted me sooner, given all we've been through already. Seems like some sort of curse. The last bloody thing we need. But we're going to help you through this. Together. Suddenly you become drowsy. Your vision blurs and floods with yellow bile. And you faint in a dizzy blur. You are not yourself. All control is gone. You convinced me to spare night song. You and I are both capable of resisting the darkness that compels us. Easy. You're in control. Bloodlust won't win tonight. You can thank me once the bloodlust subsides. Keep focused. The night passes sick and sweating, but bloodlessly. You once again inhabit your own mind. some more explaining is in order. Exactly what just came over you? I'll help protect you. I promise. Seems I'll need to just to keep myself safe. Well, it's always an option if we're out of ideas. But let's at least try to save you before it comes to that. Hmm? We'll best this. Just think positively. Or at least don't think murderously. Besides, there's plenty of foes out there for you to vent your impulses on. I know you have your personal demons to contend with. But if I didn't make it clear before, I think you can beat this. Just don't give in and seek help if you need it. No, keep back! No biting! This is worse than I thought. If you've energy to flirt, you've energy to fight this thing. Stay with me. I know you can. Your hands are raw and bloody as every inkling of your urge yearns you to tear your bindings. Easy. You're in control. Bloodlust won't win tonight. Growling. Come on, at least use words. You're better than this. Fight it! The night passes sick and sweating, but bloodlessly. As soon as you raise the dagger, all doubts disappear from your mind. Replaced by pure pleasure. In the heat of the night, those last gasps are those of disappointment. With almost no struggle, she has gone out like a light. The corpse feels carefree, peaceful, and loving to linger beside. You drink in the sight until the dawn. Regrettably, the corpse before you is not your only company on this dark night. Footsteps approach, not your butler come to celebrate this splendid deed. But the others, woken by your happy laughter, or the sound of knife on bone. You killed again? 
We needed them! A horrifying thought. Perhaps the Prism's ability to protect us is faltering. You did the right thing. If the Absolute ever takes my mind again, I hope you will end me as quickly. A reprobate liar. But what's one more darling sin on the pile? You are holding on to your allies by but a hair. Your kill of your poor friend can only mean one thing. The degraded Scleritas will be back soon enough. Oh, apologies for the tardiness, my festering liege. Oh, my crumbs of doubt in you were most unjust. You killed your darling, Ankar. A part of your past is here for you. I come with your disgusting prize. Such a strapping young behemoth. <laughs> Surely it is preposterous anything else would happen tonight. You return to your bedroll and sleep like the dead. You killed again. We needed them. You have no control of yourself. You are worse than a beast. And I will put you down like one. Fatigue fills your body. Your head swims with the worst headache you've known. All right, then. Maybe if it happens again, try pinching yourself. <laughs> 